You just gotta get a game plan in place, you know, and uh, make sure you're ready to go and got your running shoes on. I, I did wear some shoes. I wore some shorts, even though it's kind of cold out right now. But it's uh, it's definitely worth it. We want to make sure that the people who are camping out are the ones that have the most like are the most the craziest ones, and the craziest ones always want to sit front row. Okay, so I'm you off. text everybody okay. when you get the Twitter. They're gonna tweet the location of where we're supposed to sign up for our tent. And, uh, and then the first people there, first in line. I talked to a couple of them, like, oh yeah, we have our team of seven people with their smartphones sitting at seven different spots. So they are ready. We have a couple teams spread throughout campus for our one tent, and we all have Twitter on our phones, so we're gonna, we're gonna wait for the tweet, and then whoever's closest is gonna book it. It's pretty intense right now. And then one person back on a laptop, uh, in case that's faster. <laughs> you know, it's kind of rough, because it's a little wet outside, so we're thinking, you know, maybe they put put in inside or something, but I don't know, they like it outside. It shows like the school spirit. We love like seeing what people will do to like be a Zag fan, you know, for those front row seats, because this is such an important game for us. Uh, it's definitely the biggest game of the season. Uh, as, we, as you can tell, there's hundreds of kids out here right now, so we're pretty pumped for it, we're ready. But because it's St. Mary's, we want to, you know, put it up a notch for, just for this one. So that's why we tweet this out. This is like the type of madness we love to see. We're waiting for a tweet as we speak. There's three so minutes till 12.30, so... 12.30 right now. Booyah. Oh, say Ignatius Statue. Oh, you're not Where is the going? Ready. I'm obviously not gonna make it, so I don't know why I start running. <laughs> but it was just, whoa, everybody's running, and so I need to run too. And so I see another guy slip, and probably not a smart thing to go across mud too. But I keep going, and then just take it, take a dive for it. Picked up somebody else's keys, so. <laughs> but yeah, I took one for the team. Did you get? I ran here, and it was still fun, anyways. Seven, baby. Woo! Uh, it's a little bit of chaos. Tent number one is the only one that's happy. You know, tent two says, oh, I was almost number one. Three says, I was number two, and so, you know, and so on. Um, but it's always hectic. Luckily, one of our guys was at the fountain, the reflecting pool. He got in there and fought his way to number nine. Six. Number six. Yes! Because of Shelby and Jordan. <laughs> the level of intensity is so much higher, and it's a lot of fun. Like, so many people out there, there's 90-some tents, and that's just, that's un unbelievable. And everyone just comes together for the love of basketball and our team. It's so much fun. Tent City is a lot of fun. When you come out here tonight, I mean, you go see like the liveliness of the area. People are talking about it. Woo! Yeah, number eight! <laughs> My dad was kind of shocked a little bit. Uh, he didn't really think I was telling the truth for a bit, but uh, yeah, I convinced him that like, I don't know, it's just what we do. and It's just, it's awesome. So he wants me to call him after the game, tell him how it was. Zag fans are dedicated. We have 1,200 kids that come out every single game, and we fill up the stands and we're always loud. We're not just here for St. Mary's, we're here for every game. This is just our big game, so we want to make sure that this is, like, we're the loudest for this one. Gonzaga is always like a community, and like, I don't know, you can kind of see right here, just another example of that. The fact that their players are saying stuff about us and then we're responding with signs and whatever, you know, the whole shebang of, of what a rivalry is. Um, I think that's what makes it so special and that's why you see 50, 40, 50 tents setting up for, you know, three days in advance before a game like this. It's stressful but it's very, very rewarding to see like the dedication that these kids have for like Zag basketball. 